Well, CSU to me is uh, a unified body of young people with uh, one goal, I think, in all things, and uh, that's to glorify God through whatever that we can find, you know, to do. There was a burning desire among at least a handful of parents in the initial beginning to have an education that was uh, God-centered or Christ-centered. There was a lot of unknown at, at the time we began this project. We didn't have anything. Where would we go? In 1971, the churches were key. They opened their doors for the model that the board set up. So we began to put the word out that we needed a school desk. We went up and brought two truckloads of school books back from Michigan. We began to finish school desk on the parking lot at the church. But we were able to finish that and start school uh, our first uh, year with 156 students, grades one through six. But it was all because of parents willing to step in and donate their time to see that uh, all of this became a fruition. And they took it beyond the dream stage and they, they took a step of faith and they put their energy and their resources behind it. And that's, that's what it takes. And then obviously God gives the increase. The uh, churches had been uh, a very successful way to reduce the facility cost, but to have the kind of quality that uh, was part of the dream, it was necessary to have a standalone campus for the junior and senior high. The board decided that uh, we would launch out into uh, securing someone that would be able to come in and develop a program for us. At that time, we were able to hire Bob Dials. I sort of hedged on my coming by telling the board I would come on one condition. We would be out of the church building within two years and uh, into our own facility. After arriving here, the school lacked the resources even more than I had imagined. We cleaned out what was a janitorial closet and made my office there. The first request I made to have a transcript made for a student, my secretary informed me, we usually do that by hand. We had nothing to bargain with other than telling the community this is what we're going to do. We needed $600,000 and we needed credibility. One of the more special things about CEC's uh, financial background is that uh, it didn't have any one large benefactor. It was a, a community effort. Within the Churches of Christ, the sense that this was something that was going to be doable just got a, a strong sense of, we can make this happen. In that first campaign, we finally concluded it with $640,000, and that was the beginning. That's when we bought this property, now known to us as Mustang Mountain. I just couldn't envision how there was enough space on this little hillside to build a campus. It was the end of the world. I mean, there was nothing out here. We were in the sticks. They were able to come in and level off enough space. We had 10 classrooms, a gymnasium, office space. We had no cafeteria. The football field wasn't flattened yet. It was small, but it was awesome. My first memory of showing up on this campus was Herman Monster. <laughs> I mean, Eric, I thought, what grade have I been put into? I was in the seventh grade. They said, we're going to go to the track meet because you want to get out of school that day. And they said, we need somebody to drive the bus. All of a sudden, I hear it coming around the street. And I go, I guess we're getting ready to go, and then we're going to be able to make it now because we got someone to drive the bus. And I look over. And out of all the people in the world driving the bus, it was my mom. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was the story of CAC. People from all areas uh, of the community, in various ways to, to the amount they could participate, they did. I think the first time that I began to realize that there is more potential here than we even dreamed about was when I began to see the enrollment uh, ballooning as it did. The enrollment went to 400, 500, 600, and we began to add sections, and more than having just one section of each class. And uh, we knew that the community was behind us. But from there, the, uh, 
the challenge to make it the very best. There was always a strong desire to say that a, a parent would not have to question the academic capabilities that uh, would be given to their kids if they chose CAC. I don't know anyone who does what we do for what we do it for. We're offering excellent programs in every area. We've maintained standards that we just haven't compromised for decades. I mean, you can look at that and say, boy, that works. There's always been that commitment from the very beginning, and it's continued with our board and our leadership that we're trying to make a Christian educational experience available to as many people as we can. July the 7th, 2011, I'm driving along feeling great. I start getting a little headache and um, call the doctor I go to church with and he says, go get it, go get a CT. And I go, I'm not gonna do that. It's gonna be, you know, a waste of my time and money. And sure enough, it got bad enough that it did to me to go in and have that. And when I went in, they wheeled me out and they said, bad news, you got a brain tumor. And it was like I'd just been pushed off the tallest building, you know, it's just free fall. But it was neat about how many people from this school that were the prayers that were sent up. That right there, the spiritual bond is why I want my kids to be here. The sense of family. CAC is like a family in so many ways. The thing that I don't think is ever gonna change about CAC is the teacher's love for their kids. A lot of people can get lost in the crowd, but here at CSC, teachers don't do that. They care about each and every individual. If I need to talk about something, I feel like, you know, they're there. From the very start, it was a belief that it wasn't just a job. It was a part of an extended family. We have faculty and staff that could go anywhere for greater financial award, but they're at CAC because they, they love young people, they love God. This is a ministry for them. Teaching is really my mission. This is my way that I can share Jesus with the boys and girls, and it's just my life. That's the way I share. It kind of helps you once you have to have a family, you're looking out for other people. You know, if, if you didn't have that, you really don't have anything. The most important thing I, for me to get across to our students is to be mission-minded. Take what you've learned and go use that for God. You know, it's really difficult not to be really proud as our students distinguish themselves you know, academically, athletically, in the fine arts. Those are great accomplishments, and I don't want to downplay those, but what we're really about is to help young people understand that their purpose is to love God with their whole being and to love others. Through the years, I don't know of a group of students who have been involved in more service reaching out to helping others than students at Central Arkansas Christian. It's about becoming a better person and doing as much as you can with your life to help other people when you're able. And you learn how to do that here. In the beginning of Central Arkansas Christian School, we had a dream, but to be honest, we didn't realize what the school would be like today. First thing when you think about a Mustang is, you know, something with pride. It's giving everything that you have go all in all out. It would be hard to stop us whenever we're determined to do something. I probably bleed purple like a lot of other people. See, see, it means, <laughs> it means everything to me. And that's what makes it so great, and that's why everyone wants to be a CAC Mustang. And if I didn't come to CAC, I don't think I would be who I am today. I don't know exactly what CAC is going to look like in 40 years, but I know that God's going to be a center part of that. And for me, I've never been more confident in the future of CAC. I feel God has blessed this program. All you have to do is come out and walk the halls of this, this school and just see the smiles and the uh, uh, 
uh, the atmosphere that exists among students. It is tremendous. I love to come to this school. I love to be greeted by hugs and laughter. So many people are so alone and have no joy in their life. To come here is joyous. The thing that's special about uh, friendships at CAC is they go farther than the level of most friendships. I think Eric and I both look through our phones and the top five are gonna be old CAC buddies. I hope when they graduate and leave here that they leave and that they can have friends like I have from this school, what a blessing. Why would you not want to be here where you're gonna be looked after body, soul, and mind?